What is your strategy in the last 20 days? Why did it take years? So how to handle the pressure in exam? What is your daily routine in the last 20 days? Some people have like prepared only 70 to 80 percent. So how they can utilize to get the maximum? What does it take to get the CSC branch at the number one institute of India? So today I am here with Karthik. He secured All India Rank 6 and he's the first one who joined IIT Madras. And I'm going to ask him his last 20 days routine, his strategy in the last 20 days and how he handles exam pressure and much more. So. Let's get started. We have Karthi here. Are you excited? Yeah, I am a bit excited. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is physics. Why? It is close to a real life application. So, I like physics. Okay, so it is close to real life application. Okay, cool. Why did you take CS? Uh, <laughs> I want to learn software okay. and implement it with the help of mechanical and electronics so okay. that I can create instruments which are useful in real life. Real life, okay. That was so inspiring, man. Video especially for J aspirants and they were in the last 20 days. Can you say all the best for them? All the best for everyone who are aspiring for J 2023. Okay. Hope see many of you here. Okay, cool. <laughs> we are waiting, waiting to see you. What is your day routine in the last 20 days? Because I think we should not get very stressed also. So how do you handle the last 20 Days. I used to get up at 5.30 or 5.45. Okay. Fresh up as fast as possible. Okay. I used to read chemistry in the morning. Okay. By 6.15, I used to start chemistry preparation. Okay. I used to read for two hours. Okay. Then I take my breakfast. Mm. I revise maths for some time. Two hours. Then I will take an assignment on mathematics like previous JE questions or something. Previous okay, okay. I will solve those. Then I will have my lunch. Take rest for about one or one and a half hour. Then I start again. I will start with physics then. Okay. First two hours of revising the concepts. Yeah. And next two hours of solving previous JE papers. Okay. And then during night before sleep, yeah. I used to read chemistry. Yeah. And we will go to bed. Then we won't get sleep in the yeah. whenever we sleep not immediately right yeah so during the 10 to 15 minutes try to recollect the concepts recollect the concepts uh, that is ready in the day uh, so it helps keep them in mind for more time keep them in mind wow 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 cool 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 so that makes a difference sleeping I mean like sleeping with what you learn helps us understand things more another next question we just want to know is like what is your strategy in the last 20 days in the last 20 days I advise not to go to learn more of new concepts we have prepared a lot for JE for the past 2 years yeah like there might be some concepts concepts which we are having doubt in it or something like that okay. if you feel it's a minor concept and you can get clarity on it for about uh, half an hour or one hour then you can get it clarified okay. or if you feel you have to read for some more period of like two or three days okay it is not advised in the last 20 days okay because even if you didn't get in this two or three days you will be stressed that time is getting over okay and i have not got clarity okay fine so in a way that i will say to concentrate more on the topics which you have more confidence okay whatever you have more confidence okay. focus it right focus now focus on them okay. and don't miss even a single question on those in the examination okay whatever you have strength you should not miss a single question yeah very important thing is while attempting the papers, like we have 20 days, I advise many of you to do daily each paper, a mock test, like previous JE paper, okay. the mains paper itself complete, all the three subjects. Daily, yeah, daily we have to do. I used to do daily one paper, I okay. used to give one paper so that I can cover last year papers completely. Last year papers. It helps because... Is we, it going through or giving a test like kind of thing? Giving a test, like okay. we will come to know that... What is our... Uh, what is our uh, ability, uh, like... Okay. In three hours of time, if mm. there is no time span, we'll keep on doing. But oh. it's not the case in the exam. Oh, yeah, correct. Uh, so, I used to give a paper daily okay. and analyze my mistake, whatever questions I have missed. Giving more papers is not important. Analyzing each and every mistake in the question paper you attempted is very important. Very important. Correct, 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 correct. So, how long it will take to analyze after the exam was over? I generally used to give five or six questions wrong. Okay. So, for each of the questions, I will analyze whether I know the concept and I made a calculation mistake or not. It's mm. the first question. Okay. If it's a conceptual mistake, mm. I will write the concept regarding that question okay. and I will read it it afterwards okay if it's a calculation mistake i'll question why calculation mistakes generally happen when we are doing calculations and think of something else okay like i try to correct it then most of the concepts if i know that i am not good at that concept if i can complete it in half an hour to one hour i will do it or else i will leave it it's okay. not advised to take risk on those concepts during the last 20 the days last 20 days don't take any risk okay fine how do you handle the pressure because the exam is going to come most people think that uh, this is the 
exam for their life so how do you handle the exam pressure in the last 20 days and in the exam also the first last 20 days how do you handle the pressure to handle the pressure i would say believe in yourself it's a relative examination and how the paper you are going to receive it will be the same way everybody else is going to receive yeah correct and you have been preparing for it since two years so you should have the confidence like i prepared so i can write okay confidence yes. is really within you and you have to have a lot of confidence in the last 20 days believe in ourselves believe believe in yourself i would advise never to compare with the others in the last 20 days because during the exam we will be having some kind of maybe we made some two or three more silly mistakes yeah. so today our marks got less than somebody else okay like okay. if you keep on worrying and comparing with others yeah, yeah, you yeah. will be thinking of about it most of the time yeah. and unknowingly you are wasting our time yeah, yeah 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 comparison is not going to do any good to you just focus on being the best version of yourself that's what he's trying to say basically in exam that is the game no like so there people used to make mistakes due to pressure so how to handle the pressure in exam the initial pressure comes with number of questions we have to solve and the time we have so i advise to see all the questions like you just see if you think it can be solved very quickly like within one or two minutes okay first do all such questions then let us say i completed such 20 questions in the first 20 minutes now my pressure of doing 75 questions in three hours gets reduced to 55 questions in two hours 40 minutes yeah so we'll get some kind of relaxation like yeah the present will be decreased yeah so i suggest first attempt whichever questions you feel easy okay so your pressure will be getting relieved itself yeah correct. if you keep on doing first question then after second question correct. if you didn't get first question okay. there will be automatically pressure on you yeah correct 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 correct, correct. so first try to reduce the load so you will feel very relaxed it's the main strategy to reduce pressure if you see a question and you know that you have not prepared that concept okay it's not your question you leave it okay if you don't know don't try hard please don't waste time on it just move on and following these two will help most of us yeah and in sometimes we think a person beside us will be doing very fastly yeah, yeah, and yeah. we'll be getting panic it's not their exam or your exam yeah, like yeah, yeah. your exam you should focus on it only. yeah correct, correct just focus on it don't compare don't look at others just focus on yourself so there is something like people used to make silly mistakes also how to handle that it happened with me also doing silly mistakes okay ideally speaking one is also not allowed one is also not, not ideally speaking like okay if you want to be perfect but it happens human mistakes yeah happen. yeah yeah <laughs> everyone makes silly mistakes uh, i make a few mistakes. mistakes in advance itself advance okay guys okay. so see he's also making mistakes so don't get worry about yourself uh, if you are making more number of silly mistakes like five or six then it will be a problem one or two is allowed okay but you have to analyze because making five or six mistakes indicates that you are not completely focused during the calculation. Okay. I would say one ball at a go. Okay. Don't think about the previous question or how the next question is going to be at the moment of solving a question. Okay. You did not solve the last question. It's gone. It okay. happened. Okay. You focus only on the present question. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. One ball at a time. Like every calculation, focus on only thing. Don't worry about next or previous something like that. That's really helpful. So, in a summarizing, if you want to really calm down during your exam, just start from the EC and take your pressure up. And while doing it, like accuracy is more important. So, take one ball at a time, right? So, this is also one of the uh, famous things that like people just wanted to know about. Like people, some people have like prepared only 70 to 80 percent. So, how they can utilize that 70 percent to get the maximum out of J. That 70 to 80 percent will be having some 70 to 80 percent of weightage in the JE paper also. Yeah, correct. And more important is if we qualify for JE mains, it's enough. For JE advanced, we have to prepare more. You build the 70 to 80 percent of the concept stronger that you need not to keep more focus for your preparation for advance. Okay. Then you can focus on 30 to 20 percent during advance. So I would suggest get more stronger in these 70 to 80 percent now itself. Good. Don't worry about the 30 or 20 percent left. You can prepare for in the next four months next four months you can prepare so just right now focus on what you learned don't try to touch that huh? what about touching only the easiest part of the 20 30 percentage okay if you feel that you are enough to give je mains in the 70 to 80 percent you can go for the easiest parts of that 20 to 30 percent okay. but don't take much stress about them like oh, okay. don't think i have not completed in that part that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you completed till now it will be more than sufficient to qualify for je main okay fine, fine. then you can concentrate on the remaining 20 to 30 percent in the remaining time for advance okay fine thank you for joining with us thank you man so thank you guys see you again in the next video and uh bye bye